Hey there, one Philly Stick here back inside of Minecraft once more. Today I'm doing camouflage, where you have to kill a mob while wearing the same type of mob head. And luckily, you can get this right in the tutorial world. Isn't that wonderful? So as you can see, I have loaded up the tutorial world, and what we're going to want to do is take an immediate, uh, almost immediate right after we get to the beacon. Now, as you remember from before, and in the previous video, I took a left there to go to the animal farm. Again, pun intended, if you know exactly what that's for, you can see that's the enchanting room. We do not want to go over to the enchanting room, we want to head on over to this right-hand side here. And once we do that, we're going to pass by some redstone, some hoppers, the hoppa. And if you get that reference, you watch uh, too much TV. And dish. And we're going to head up here and break this fence post. Why? I don't know, because you can. Or you can wander right on through the uh, the other area over here, which is next to the uh, the house. With that, so we're going to open up this chest, we're going to find ourselves a creeper head. As you can see, you can actually wander right through the uh, enchanting area as well, if you do desire to do that. So go ahead and put on your new creeper head, and as you can see, I am in fact wearing it. Yay. So that is half the work, or at least a third of the work done. Next, we need ourselves a weapon. As you can see, again, you can walk right through that area if you so desire. So we're going to head on over to the forge area, and inside of the forge area, uh, which is already, again, pre-built... We're going to find ourselves a stone sword. Now, this is where you do have an optional choice ahead of you. You can either enchant it with the fire aspect or not. That is up to you. I do show you what happens if you use the fire aspect and let the creeper burn up. That will actually happen momentarily. So I sped this up quite a bit because I wandered around the area here. And I found myself a creeper. Now, as you can see, I did, in fact, kill it and explode it. It didn't give me the achievement. I do the exact same thing to this creeper, but I let it burn up without killing it first. And it doesn't count. So yeah, you can see why that can be a little bit annoying. So now I wander around. Um, of course, since you are wearing a creeper head, just make sure you do have your creeper head on while you kill a creeper. Any other enemies do not count. So I walk across this bridge in this area here. And of course, since it's night, there's bound to be some creeper or whatever. Do be careful, there is a witch out here. So I might do an achievement on, uh, guide on that later on how to kill the witch. Or at least splash potion the witch with the witch. Um, I'll show you that later, possibly, if I get to it. So anyway, we're going to find this creeper here. Now, as you can see, I hit it once, make sure it doesn't explode. Hit it the second time, it's still getting damaged, and I hit the third time and kill it. And it takes a few seconds for it to register. The witch kills me. However, before I'm about to end my game out of rage quitting, I do unlock the 30 gamer score achievement for camouflage, so it can be done. But anyway, there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. It's helped to get like. If you do, in fact, want to see more, why not click on one of the other videos up there? I don't know. Again, it'll be a surprise. Or you can click on my image, go over my channel, hit subscribe, and as always, have a great and beautiful day, and hopefully, I'll see you guys all next time.